Hello and welcome back to yet another towpath adventure. You rejoin us here on our walk back from Wilston Reservoir as we head towards the dry section of the Wendover Arm. It's the 4th of August 2020 at around 7pm in the evening. I am wondering if any of this is going to actually be... Oh, that's Willem District Boat Club we've got. Yeah, because you see the side ones on there. Well. There's some here. There's some there. Okay. <gasps> oh, God, jumps. Oh, it's all the different. This is bridge number four. It was constructed to allow the footpath to safely cross the dry canal bed. There are lots of plaques on the bridge showing sponsors and supporters of the Wendover Arm Trust who are undertaking the Herculean task of restoring this canal arm. You can see the work that has been going on to restore the approach to the bridge hole, the bridge landing area and the sides of the canal base. There used to be a swing bridge here, it fell into disrepair and was removed. However, the swing bridge base and the retaining walls are being repaired as part of the restoration works. So it will be interesting to see if the swing bridge is reinstated here in the future. This is the site of the White House's pumping station, one of the three original pumping stations along the Wendover Arm. It was built in 1820. White House's pumping station was named due to the colour of the two houses that were built here for the canal maintenance workers. The houses no longer exist. The White House pumping station. Ah, uh, that's the pumping station then. The pumping station will be restored here as it plays an important role in maintaining the correct water levels in times of flood. That's an awful lot of... White House's pumping station will send any excess water from the canal arm back down the hill into the Wheelstone Reservoir, where it will be held for future use, helping to maintain the correct water levels and prevent flooding of land and properties along the canal. The hedgerows along the side of the Wendover Arm are very well preserved and are currently rewarding the towpath walkers with a plentiful bounty of delicious fruits. So you squidging one into the towpath. Yeah. You can just see the Wilston Reservoir as we peek through the hedgerow. That is Bridge 4A. Yet another footpath crosses the canal here. There's a surprise waiting for us just beyond it. As you can hear, it's a little bit breezy. Understatement of the year. So we don't manage to get the drone up in the air this time round. Well, we'll just have to come back and try to get some drone footage another time. And it's back in, in water. I'm sure it's said on the sign back at White Houses that parts were still in water, but not navigable. However, we're still surprised that there's water in the canal here. It's shallow. Well, he says it's shallow. It looks pretty deep. You see a lot of restoration projects where the entire length of the canal being restored is dry. It's really promising to see water here and so much of it. Yeah. 
In fact, the canal from this point on, all the way down to the end in Wendover, is very much wet. It's at lower level than it should be, but the canal is still retaining the water, which is a really good sign. It's been a really long day for us, and we're going to head back to where the boat is moored at Little Tring now. We've got to go back to Bridge 4 and then over the hill to get there. We are both really impressed with the restoration work that has been going on here, and we discuss walking some more of the Wendover Arm, but we'll do that another day. So, thanks for watching, see you next time.